Hey guys, um, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to give your voice a cool ghost effect and audacity. Um, if you don't have audacity, then there's a link in the description below, you can download it. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> I'll also... I already recorded uh, an audio track over here, but um, so the first step to sounding like a ghost is first, of course, record an audio track. So I've already recorded mine. I said, um, I said, uh, just listen to what I said. I forgot actually. I sound like a ghost. This is kind of weird. Now you can hear I have background noise. I think you can hear I have background noise. Uh, listen closely and you might get to hear a fan. Well, if you can't, um, this thick line right here that I'm circling, that's the fan noise. So if you don't, if you don't like the fan noise, then you can just highlight it and click noise reduction get noise profile and if it hasn't gone down enough for you then press control R until that goes down and take all the spots that look like that and press control R until it goes down but then if you have a click noise <coughs> then you might want to <coughs> highlight where your click noise is and then go to effect and then click on click removal and then so you just for some reason it's not working for me but um then if it hasn't gone down enough for you again control R and then you keep that space highlighted but then you click on noise reduction get noise profile just like before and press control R until it goes all the way down and then you don't need to highlight anything else but then the next step is to compress it and normalize it and then Go to equalization and then see where it says collect, select curve. Well, then you're gonna go tap on that or click on that, and then you could do it to where it sounds like a uh, AM radio, telephone, walkie talkie, you know, wherever. But any of these, <coughs> you want to take these and then click on bass boost. So out of all of these selections, bass boost. That's the one in the middle. So then you hit OK. And then once you do that, it should sound like this. I sound like a ghost. This is kind of weird. So it's kind of louder than before. And then once you do that, you hit reverse. And then make sure it's reversed. Then you click play. When I just and it should sound like gibberish then once you've done that you click reverb I have my reverberance up to 60 but that's all I have up to 60 just leave everything else the same <coughs> the more you want the ghost effect the higher you can put the reverberance number but keep everything else the same except for the reverberance number I mean it's your choice and then click OK and then it should sound backwards like gibberish but also have an echo noise to it like this so then you want to reverse it again if you have that then you click play I sound like a ghost this is kinda weird then once you reverse it again to sound like normal talking 
It won't be completely normal. It'll have so sort of a ghostly, demonic effect. Here's some of the ones that I've done a few days ago. <coughs> this one I did with my cousin Landon. We were doing this over FaceTime, so it kind of sounds like it's on a radio. And then here's one that I did with my cousin Jess. Uh, not cooperating. Alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Okay, well, let me close out this window because it's confusing. Me. <coughs> Corn chips and rice. Alright. So. And then here's. I think the first one that I've done. <sighs> I'm a freaking ghost. I didn't have it so. I didn't have the reverberance effect so high on this, so it doesn't sound too much like it. <clears throat> and then there is one called a real ghost. You can see. Uh, I think I'm gonna save this one for last. Uh, here's one that my cousin Ryan did. I don't think I had it as high on that one either. Um. So then there's this creepy little girl talking one. So I think that one would might be a better one to use. I don't think I've put the effect on this one yet, so I better do that. Alright, so I'm done putting the effect on it. This is what it sounds like. I know something you don't. I lost my golly. Will you help me find her? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? That's just half of it. Um, so, <clears throat> then here's the last one called Real Ghost. I saved it for last because, I mean, it's just probably one of the better ones I've done, but the thing is, I did it with my voice, so it's probably one of the better ones I've done. But with my voice. I don't, I don't even understand how I did this. Um, the creepy little girl talking, I did not do with my voice. I think I got something in my teeth. But anyway. I didn't do the, um, this one with my voice. I had to download it, as you can see, by the .mp3. I'm circling with my um, mouse. Oh, also, with the cursor like that, <clears throat> I'll do a tutorial on how to make your cursor like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but the only reason I save real ghost for last, it's not a real ghost, but it's one that I did with my voice, and I thought it was kind of weird. I don't even know how I managed to do this one. Uh, you don't like it. You don't like it. Um... I've heard a few people say it was good, um, never asked really many other people, but this video is getting kind of long, so here it is. Yeah, and then it just cuts off, but 
Peace out.